Welcome back. We are here looking at uh, indices and it's going to be my daily forecast for Monday, April 19, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new studios and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. We can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500 and then we're going to look at the Dow Jones, the Nasdaq, the German DAX, the UK 100 and then the Chinese uh, 50. So you can look at the uh, S&P 500 and as you can see we have rallied a bit in the trading session on Friday. We are trading uh, at uh, 4,180 at this current stage. We are approaching the top of the bullish band yet again. There's still room to the upside so we won't, won't reach significant resistance here until 2000, uh, no, 2000, 4,219 and Considering that the RSI is at 75, a pullback could be expected sometimes next week. So a pullback towards the 20 exponential in the middle of the bullish band around the 4,440, that could be expected. A breakdown below that opens the door to the 50, that's at 3,954. And then all the way down to the bottom of the bullish band, which is at 3,866 at this current stage. Technical indicators are very bullish at this point. MACD is bullish, Stochastic is bullish, and the CCI is bullish, and the RSI is also in showing bullish momentum. But we are getting fairly overstretched and overbought at this current stage, and a pullback at, the, at these levels could be expected. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So the Dow Jones, uh, very similar here, RSI at 75. We're approaching uh, even uh, closer to the top of the bullish band, but we have been doing that for, for basically the last two weeks. Um, last time we basically broke down when we got this uh, overstretched was basically over here. This was in the beginning of March, and we fell all the way to the middle of the bullish band. So we also had a very similar occurring here where we go went all the way to the middle of the bullish band and also here when we went to the bottom. So usually when we get this close to the upper um, upper part of the bullish band, it tends to break towards the middle or even to the bottom. So the middle here is at 33,300 give or take and the bottom is at 32,400. Technical indicators are all significantly bullish at this point, but uh, due to the fact that we are overstretched and 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 overbought, uh, buying the dips is probably the best strategy here. So let's look at the Nasdaq. So Nasdaq um, did take out these previous uh, candlesticks, and that is a fairly bullish sign. We are basically settled above. 14,000, uh, 14, which is also a very a bullish shine. It is uh, on the edge of being overbought. So we're at 68, and um, but it is not as overbought, for example, as the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq are. So, um, so this could rally towards uh, the, the top of the bullish band at 14,244 at this uh, 34 at this current stage before we see some kind of pullback. If we were to pull back from here, then we could drop all the way down to 13,400 or towards the 50 here at 13,265. That could be um, could be uh, an area where we fall to, um, but uh, we'll most likely find major resistant support there due to the fact that these uh, previous highs will act as support. Otherwise, technical indicators are very bullish and there is not a basically sign at the moment that we are going to break down from here. Everything is pointed to higher levels, but due to the fact that we are fairly overstretched and have been rallying since uh, we all the way down here at 12,200, uh, a pullback could be expected at any point. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX just absolutely, well, rally significantly on, on, on Friday due to very good numbers from the German economy um, and some most of the, the car manufacturers in, in Germany. Um, so this basically rallied all the way to the top of the bullish band and um, at this point we are at 80 at the RSI. So we are significantly overstretched. It technically only needs uh, some kind of bad news for this to break down towards uh, 15,000. That's probably where we'll find major support and where buyers will come back in. 
I don't really see this going below 15,000 or the middle of the bullish band at this current stage. We saw it last time we got down towards the middle. It just completely rallied to the upside. And um, buyers will probably just uh, focus on this point and buy it to the upside. If we were to break this, uh, the 20 exponential, then we probably head towards the 50 at 14,500, give or take. Technical indicators are all very bullish at this point, and there's no sign that this is going to break down. But we are at basically the top of the bullish band, and we are at 80. So this is both significantly overstretched and also overbought. So let's look at the UK 100. So UK 100, very similar here. We rallied uh, significantly. We broke down on, so what's on Tuesday and uh, Monday and Tuesday, and then we basically rallied yet again. So at this moment, we're trading above 7,000. So the UK FTSE has not recovered fully from this massive fall from the, basically yeah, last year. So the German DAX has recovered, and most of the US indices have recovered and so on. But the, the UK 100 or FTSE has not recovered at this at this current stage. So all the highs here are all the way up at the 7,721. But it is grinding slowly towards those levels. At this moment, moment, we are basically at the top of the bullish band. A pullback towards the middle could be expected. This is most likely where we'll find a major, major support. We are also we are also overbought at this point. But other technical indicators are very bullish. So a pullback from here. Uh, it is basically a buying opportunity. We are still in uptrend, and uh, yes, it has been fairly stable at this uptrend for the last uh, few months or the last two months at least. So let's look at a China 50. So China 50 is uh, well struggling, but it is holding on here at the uh, 200 moving average. We did breach it and then we basically rallied. So we're trading just above the 200 moving average. If you have a crossing at the 20 and, uh, and probably also 50 of the 200 moving average, then we could basically see this drop all the way down to 15,000 and probably lower than that. So this had a massive rally in 2000 and, uh, 2020. And uh, if you look, for example, at the Fibonacci retracement for basically the bottom of this market in 2020 and all the way to the top, we can see that we could drop towards the 50 Fibonacci retracement. That is exactly at 16,000. And then we have the 61.8, and that is around 15,000. So 15,000 will most likely be the floor here if uh, we break the 200 moving average. Uh, there will be a lot of buying around the 16,000, but 15,000 is probably as far as this will go. So hope you find this helpful. You will support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck, and thank you very much. Thank you.